Welcome to part number 26 of Gran Turismo 5 Beast Spec. This is the Moving Chicane, and today we're going to be doing the Italian Festival. So as I mentioned earlier in the Let's Play, I bought a Fiat Coupe, and let's go ahead and get in it. I did an oil change, I know that for a fact, because I remember doing that for sure. So, before we do anything in terms of modifications, let's go quickly check what the regulations are like, and the typical opponents. Four fifty. Ooh, wow. These cars are pretty tuned up. All right. Sport hard tires and and yeah. Let me guess. You won the patent wagon. I know that because of Jimmy Broadbent's playthrough. That's like the. I, and I remember that. I remember getting trolled hard as a kid back then. So I do know that you win the the wagon, the eighteen eighty six one. Oh, the motor carriage. Okay, I knew it was one of the two. And one more upgrade. Well, apart from tires. So tires, comfort softs, we need sport hards for this event. Amateur series for the final time, the Italian Festival or Festival Italia. Rome and London are the two races on the calendar, and let's go ahead and get Marcus not feeling good. Kobayashi Fernandez once again because he's feeling pretty good right now. Alright, so we have a Spider, GTV, Punto, Julia, Spider, well, oh, it's a 01 Spider. So, uh, that's the only Mercedes-Benz I have a GT4, and it isn't really, it is a Mercedes-Benz. The company's gotta start somewhere, bro. <laughs> can you modify it and race it? I know you can't, it's a special card, but, yeah. Only Polyphony would give you that as a prize card. Oh look, it's it's Narvin, Marvin's long lost cousin. Anyways, green flag is out. Man, Fernandez is just muscling his way to the front. Lancia Stratos is gonna be really tough to fight. They merged in the 20th century, they were different. Oh, it's a Benz, not a Mercedes Benz. Okay, oh that's right. Something like that, yeah. Narvin the Gamer 72. <laughs> and then he has a second channel called Narvin's Modern Gaming. Fernandez gets around Narvin, up to second. Now we chase down the spider. Nicely done. Fernandez all the way up to the lead now. Narvin the kazoo player. <laughs> Narvin's AR gaming. And in this, um, in this universe, Narvin is the one who just cusses every time. He's like, hey guys, thanks for effing joining in. F, F, F. Alright, well, Fernandez is pulling away from the entire field. Richardi in the Stratos, I'm not surprised that he's up to second. He's going to be the toughest car to fight. So Fernandez needs to be on his toes here.
Okay, well, looks like on the straightaways, Fernandez is better. Richardi, better in the corners, because the Stratos is much lighter. More of a racing style car than the coupe will ever be. But I think we'll be able to manage. Alright, what's going on now? Ooh, he's closing the gap a lot. Dude, the second place driver carries the name of Gina's team in R-Racing? Oh, that's right! I forgot that's the team name! <laughs> I completely forgot about that. All right, they're literally nose and tail right now. Basically, GVI versus Richardi. Oh, this is gonna be a tough fight. away from him. Uh, I think I found a bug. The motor carriage has more steering angle when turning to the left than to the right. Or maybe that's how the car was designed. I don't know. Cars from the 1800s were really funny back then. So, I don't know. Wish we could multiplayer B spec. <laughs> Dude, back then you could you were able to do that. Hey look Marvin! It's your long lost cousin, Narvin. Narvin the gamer has podium potential. <laughs> I mean, look, Narvin is, like, really calm right now. Nolan is, like, eh, he's pretty much hot. How's it going, by the way, Marvin? Hope you're doing good. Richardi is falling back. GVI is still in the lead. Come on, Narvin. You got this. See, in this universe, or not a universe, but Marvin's brother would choose Alpha Romeo instead of Aston Martins. Richardi is just being calm. We need Fernandez to pick up the pace more if he's going to be just cruising at this point. Finish cleaning my mess. We'll hopefully be streaming later. Oh, if, well, I'm doing an early stream today because I got some stuff to take care of, but hopefully I can be on your stream. I know UFC veterans gonna stream soon, but I'm, I'm about to wrap up, like, not too far from now. I love when I break in the motor carriage, the driver just lunges forward, like, he would just pull four Gs while braking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I mean, he, act, he acts like he literally goes and, like, he actually like he just went to like a, like an oval like Texas in an Indy car and just slammed on the brakes. Super exaggerative. Um, percentage wise, I'm not sure. We'll check later. 
We'll check after this um, entire championship is done. Only done like two gold in the S license like weeks ago. Oh, damn. Final lap, by the way, and yeah, he has a huge lead. I haven't tried it today since so Mission 34 was already stressful. Well, congrats on winning it, dude. Needs to go back and do licenses again since I'm so freaking rusty. That's if you want to. I mean, haven't you gotten them all gold anyways? Oh, Narvin fell down to fifth. No, wait, Narvin still has a chance. You know what, let's focus on Narvin. Let's see what he can do to get on the podium. Yeah, no problem, dude. Come on, Arvin the Gamer. You got this. <laughs> there he goes. That's a fourth. He has only one more spot to go. What about Suzuki? Well, Suzuki's starting to get tense. Arvin's like increasing his tensity. I'm trying to tell him to overtake, he can't. I'm trying to intercept it to his communications. And I'm failing to do so. Well, Fernandez pretty much won. But fight for third, let's see what happens. Let's focus on Suzuki. Ah, it's over. Narvin is going to finish fourth. Damn. <laughs> oh well. Couldn't get the job done. Well, we have one more race to go in this series, and it's at London. And hopefully we do good, because the last time we were at London with Maldonado, we beat him by Guri Suzuki. <laughs> I didn't even notice that name. I noticed the Suzuki part, but not, I didn't think about A as an Aguri. Um... Yeah, last time we were at London, Maldonado was just being really careless. And this time, let's see how Fernandez handles this track. There's Ostrados in the back, once again, but will he be able to catch up this time? Because this track is really difficult to pass around. Okay, so the AI is really struggling to overtake cars at this track. So I gave Fernandez a lot of new upgrades. Racing the exhaust, racing air filter, all that good stuff. Of course, the Auto Bianchi is just a backmarker who starts up front for no reason. He just shoves the coop out of the way. So I guess all I can do is just tell him to be really aggressive here at the start. That's like the only strategy that'll work. I get, I just like many types of genres. The only genre I can't stand is, uh, is Nightcore. And more genres that sound like a nine-year-old girl sped up. Yeah, the only thing I can't really stand is shit like Screamo, honestly. Like, stuff like that I really cannot stand. Like, I like all kinds of music. I don't mind screaming in music, but I don't know, man. It's something about that kind of genre of music I do not like. Like, new metal and stuff I do not really enjoy. See, this is exactly what Fernandez needed. 
he needed all this extra power to actually make overtakes because overtaking at London for the AI cars is nearly impossible. It's like Monaco. One day I would be listening to rap and the other would be listening to Night of the Valkyries. I love rap music. Well, it depends on what kind of rap music you're talking about. If you're talking about like, like modern day hip hop that's not like Kendrick Lamar, then no. Or Post Malone, then nah, I'm not a fan. I'm talking about like 90s, 80s hip hop, gangster rap, G Funk, then you're talking to the right guy. <laughs> but that's just me. Everyone's like entitled to their own opinion for music, anyways. Alright, so. Chasing down the Alpha, Martin is not really dominating anymore. We'll be able to get him at the end of the straight, or at least close the gap a lot. Here we go. Modern one sounds like mumbling, but some of them can be good if you just listen to the radio only. Right, I mean, like, I, I think if you ask me who's absolute trash, it's Migos. I hate Migos so much, dude. Their music is garbage, in my opinion. Like, the only modern, I guess the only modern artist that has, like, who, who talks about all his fame and stuff, and, you know, who's really popular amongst, like, the non Kendrick Lamar fans I like is Post Malone. Because I think Post Malone's cool for the fact that he likes to ver uh, get versatile with his music. Someone like Fetty Wap, for example, who makes the same songs over and over again, fell off the map because they're irrelevant now. Where Post Malone is not afraid to go outside of his comfort zone and try new things. And that's why I enjoy him as an artist. But my favorite artist that's like currently making music is Kendrick Lamar. Alright, pretty much at the halfway distance now, and we're gonna win. Fernandez just with a good lead right now, wanting to maintain this good pace. Let's check out the rest of the field. <laughs> Alpha 166 all the way in the back. Spider there, 156. I'm surprised the Auto Bianchi is still in fourth. Fetty Wap just sounds like a dirty name, but the first letter of each word is a switched. Or first letter of each word is switched. <laughs> yeah, and all his songs were the same, dude. It's all just the same. Yeah, babe. And then. Just like, hey, girl. Like, it's all the same fucking songs. And I get it. Trap Queen was cool, I, I guess. You know, many people mess with Trap Queen, which. You know, I understand you might like it, but it's like, dude, every song sounds like Trap Queen. And that's why I just was not a fan. Rari yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's why I was not a fan of Freddy Wap. Hey, what's up, Abstract? How you doing? We got two laps to go here. Fernandez is just putting on a clinic while well, going to waste going to waste all my internet, but anyways. <laughs> well, I, at least you're wasting your internet on my stream, so thank you for that. <laughs> Dude, that alpha sounds like garbage. Fernandez just needs one more lap, and we can finally get this championship out of the way. Alright, well, here we go, final lap. My mobile company are scammers. Oh, who are you? Who's your mobile company? Maintain the pace. Just need one more good lap. Last year's one gigabyte equals 10 euros. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. 
Really? Movie movie star? Oh, okay. Oh, that's Moby. I said movie. Moby star? Okay. So they're a cellular company. I just know them because of um, Carlos Science's sponsorship on his Toyota Corolla back in the day in the WRC. But anyways, um, so one gigabyte 10 euros, one gigabyte 30 now? That That's BS, dude. <laughs> that sucks. I mean, I have T-Mobile here in the States, and they're alright. I mean, I, I get a good, I pay a good amount for unlimited data, but their service sometimes just craps out. And when it does, it's, it's so terrible to try to get back on. But anyways, Fernandez nearly level 18, save the replay. Hey Antonio, how are you? And... Not one, but two prize cars for winning this championship. Well, not winning this championship, but one prize car for the championship, two, or the second one for completing the entire amateur series. Best of all, everyone around me has some kind of extra mobile data because phone can just give them away in summer. I have to pay for it. Rip. That sucks, man. But what doesn't suck is that we win an Alpha Julia. Okay. Level 9 coupon. Alright. So first things first, we're going to open up the alpha coupon because, you know, suspense. Amateur series complete. Yeah. Calm down. Who are you telling to calm down? Me? Or... Oh, damn, it's not in Rosa Alpha. Everyone knows a good Alpha Romeo, isn't there? Level 9 coupon Yaris. Yaris LM race car. Nurburg 24. <laughs> <laughs> All right, level nine coupon time, and... What the hell do I get? It's a standard car. Mercedes? E55 AMG? All right, cool. Not bad, not bad. 